Before we found that the component, we found RCB, that was the position vector from point C up to point B, and we found the position vector of that was negative 5, 12. The other thing we found is that the component of RCB along AB was 9.76 meters. Essentially what we're doing is we're saying, okay, I've got this line right here. It comes up along this general direction. And I want to find out how much of 5 to the left and 12 up, how much of that magnitude lies along this line, AB? And more to the point, how much of it lies perpendicular to it? If we found the component lying perpendicular to AB, that's the perpendicular sign, component perpendicular to AB, we would find the dot product with the perpendicular that we found up there, the dot product with the unit vector perpendicular to AB. If you did that, you'd have negative 5.94707. Remember, we've switched this around. And 12 times 0.32104. That's the dot product of our position vector right here with our unit vector that we've switched around to find it perpendicular to AB right there. If you do that, you've got 8.59 meters. This is perpendicular to AB. Essentially what we've done is we've broken this vector from C to B into a bit that lies along AB and a bit that's perpendicular to AB. This is the dot product of RCB with UAB. And this one is the dot product of RCB and our perpendicular vector from above. Now, you can check this with the Pythagorean theorem. Is it, in fact, true that 9.76 squared plus 8.59 squared is our original magnitude? And in point of fact, yes, this is the magnitude of RCB.